pedigree comes up often in the arts community, um, talking about somebody's pedigree. It's kind of an abstract term to me. You'd think pedigree meant traditionally your family or your lineage or something like that, but now I feel like over time it's kind of used in a different context and is vague and subjective and could mean your zip code or your ethnicity or your education or your age. And in some ways, the word pedigree is kind of um, restrictive, but in other ways it's very permissive. It lets people do things and, and basically other people can't because they don't have the pedigree. These works are kind of hard to photograph and, and they're really best seen in person because there's so many different layers to it. Um, and this particular one, Mar, means death in Dutch, I believe. And looking at the piece, you have these two women flanking each side of it, but as you get closer, you'll notice that on the back of the mirror, there's reflected a, a skull. The skulls are reflected back at you. And they actually lined this piece um, with LED lights, and so it really kind of brings this whole shadow box idea to life. I met him at the Fenway Open Studios. I had never been there. And I walked into his studio, and it is one of the most interesting places I've ever been. There's all these different paintings and pieces and puppetry and all this sort of interesting components, and it actually turns out that he's made all of it. He's made the frame of this painting. He's painted this painting. He's made all the puppets. He's made his entire studio, every architectural component, every piece, and not only that, but he's actually modeled his studio exactly after Vermeer's studio. And so these are all handmade, every component. The glass and the lenses is um, taken from the town in Holland where Vermeer is from during the time period, so it's got all the bubbling, everything that is kind of part of that. She kind of explores the whole community or the, the thoughts surrounding hunting and things like that and how people and excess and, and trophies and, and mounts and things that are you know sh shown all over your house and displayed and, and I like that she actually focuses on the hooves of the animals because they're normally a piece that's discarded and I think in her words she said that the best they can hope for is being the base of a lamp or something like that and so she instead instills value into it and creates these really elaborate porcelain creations and, um, you know, really gives value. I kind of view it in like a velveteen rabbit sort of way, like loving this, putting this love into something that would otherwise kind of be discarded or forgotten about. She is an artist who, again, I, I trust her aesthetic and I just brought her into the space and I said, you can have this corner, do with it what you will, and she kind of ran with it. We talked about different ideas and so she really helps take advantage of the space she's spanning kind of the whole height of the room and then dropping down and flowing into the chandelier over this carpet and everything is made out of individual wallpaper pieces. I think she said that this is a collection of two years worth of wallpaper pieces. Um, and then she also has this gate. And I thought the gate is interesting too in the context of pedigree about that permissive or restrictive or does this gate, is this gate keeping you out of something? Is this gate allowing you entrance into something? I think that there's got to be some sort of marriage between the old and the new and that, um, you know, I, I tend to, not on purpose, it just kind of comes out that way um, aesthetically as I try to pair, you know, I try to put work in the show that it doesn't matter where you came from or what you studied or what your background is, I don't even look at the resume. You can be an established artist, you can be an emerging artist, I don't really care and I think that that is kind of what we need to consider in general. So this is Shelley's piece, Cat Fight, um, after Snyder, so kind of modeled after Snyder's work and style. They're breaking through this idea of propriety. They're just smashing it open. Everything is tumbling everywhere. Everything's falling into disrepair. It brings in, you know, Liz Alexander's work of things falling into disrepair. It kind of brings energy into the space in the way that, you know, Chris Fitch's piece does. It, it kind of turns propriety on its head and, and it makes you think about kind of what what does pedigree actually mean and, and what what does value mean. Mm -hmm.